Hello, this is Debbie from Wild and Woolly in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Coco Knit folks, as you know, I am knitting like crazy to finish my sweater for Friday in the hopes that we can have a blocking session. And so I finished both my sleeves and I was binding off my sleeve and finishing it. And I realized that some of you might not know this technique for finishing your bind off in the round. If you just do a regular bind off in the round, this is what your finish is gonna end up like. You're not gonna be happy with it. After doing all that work, you'll want this a little bit finished. So if you do this technique that I'm about to show you, it will go from that to this. You'll be very happy. It'll make a big difference to you. And it's a very simple step. So I'm going to start by doing the last few stitches. I've gone the whole way binding off. I'm gonna do the last few stitches in Jenny's stretchy bind off pearl ways. Um, so I've got a pearl stitch here. I'm gonna do a pearl over pearl wise. And then I'm going to do another pearl stitch and take the first stitch, the pearl yarn over, over the last stitch. I know that we did this somewhat, but I uh, hadn't read my directions and saw it was pearl wise, not knit wise. So I've got a pearl stitch. I'm gonna do, excuse me, I'm gonna do a pearl bind, a uh, pearl yarn over, a pearl stitch, take the yarn over and the first pearl stitch over my last pearl stitch. Pearl yarn over, pearl stitch, yarn over, first stitch over last stitch, pearl yarn over, pearl stitch, yarn over, first stitch over last stitch. Play this back if you need to see it, but I'm trying to do a few repetitions so it'll stick in your brain. Okay, so we're almost to the end here. I've got one pearl, I'm gonna do another yarn over. Here's my last pearl stitch. Emptied my needle, see? It's my last pearl stitch. So I'm going to take the last two stitches as I was over right here. Okay, and this is where you'll see what happens. I'm gonna pull, here's my last stitch. You see this? It's my last stitch. I'm gonna pull it out. Oops, Daisy. My last stitch, my working yarn right here. See this? Here's my last stitch. You can see my bind off. It's a pretty bind off, you've got to say. This Jenny's stretchy pearl is a pretty bind off. So it's my last stitch that I just took off my needle. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm going to take the end of my working yarn that I just cut right here and here's my last stitch that came off my needle you see I'm laying it in the same direction as the previous stitches here's both legs of the previous stitches I'm laying it the same direction and my working yarn is coming from below I'm going to come from below and up through my last stitch what I'm doing is hand sewing my last stitch so it looks the same this has uh will have two legs when i go over here and come back this will go in here to create the two legs so i've come through my last stitch and then i come to this side and i take my last stitch or rather the first stitch that we started with we started our bind off here came all the way around so the first bind off stitch right here this is all just sides so this is my first bind off. I'm going to go from front to back. Take it through the front to the back. And then I'm gonna come back into my last stitch. Back into my last stitch. What this does it creates that second leg. Here was the first leg that was my working yarn. I came over and around, came back around and back through here to the back of my work. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That's how you finish a circle. If And then you bring it to this side. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want to distort it, but pull it tight enough that um, it's secure. And then you will feed it through to the back right here and you will, um, excuse me, feed it to the back 
making sure you've got the correct tension, correct tension, and then you will uh, weave in your ends as you would ordinarily. So you can't tell, you see this? You can't tell where you, your, end of, your end and your beginning of your bind off are. It just all looks the same and it's really pretty. See that? Definitely worth doing this technique. If you need to rewind it, rewind it. This one I purposely left um, unfinished. I haven't finished this one off yet because I want you to see the difference. This is without that technique that I just showed you. With that technique, it comes over here. It goes through these stitches and then this will join up like this. Without it, this is what your edge looks like. Probably less than satisfactory, I would say. So I hope this is helpful to you and replay this back as many times as you need to. We will see you on Friday, 4.10 p.m. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of knitting to do. I have finished my sleeves, but I have to finish the body and finish some uh, pocket seaming because my hope is that we're going to do blocking at 4.10 p.m. on Friday. So I look forward to seeing you all then on Facebook Live. Take care. Good luck.